I'd like to share with you a practice called purification breath. Now we've done this before on, on our Sunday evenings. Uh, this is a, it's what's called a salung. Salung is, literally means wind exercise. Interestingly, the word lung in Tibetan, lung, which also means wind. It's, I recently, just as a side note, I did some more digging around the common roots of these languages that Sanskrit and Tibetan and English and some of the Romance languages actually share common root in the Indo, uh, the Indo, um, the Eurasian Indo-Tibetan sort of area. <clears throat> and so it is interesting uh, that Tsa Lung, Lung, or wind exercise is uh, sort of, maybe that'll help you remember the word, actually. It does me. Um, so uh, Tsa Lung, wind exercise, uh, the notion that breathing has a purifying effect because it impacts the subtle physiology of the body. And so as we do purification breath, we're working with breath, with energy, and with the subtle energy channels that um, are often used in Vajrayana or in uh, sort of the psychophysiology of these meditation practices. And it's really, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, practice, <clears throat> but it helps to kind of see or know kind of what are these channels. So I'm going to show you uh, just a quick uh, diagram here. Uh, so if you can see this, um, <clears throat> Now, you don't have to sit in Padmasana. This is the lotus posture with the feet like this and the mudras. You can if you like. You can try it if you're able. Um, I've always found that very challenging to do. Uh, since I broke my left leg when I was younger, I can't twist my foot up like that. Anyway, uh, but you can kind of see where these two arrows are here. These are the nostrils, okay? So on, upon the inhale, uh, you will breathe into these side channels in, and we'll begin by doing one at a time. So often what we do is we take our thumb to the ring finger and with that ring finger, we close off the right nostril first. And as we breathe in, we're breathing in through the left nostril, which would be this in, up into the forehead and then down that side of the body so so holding this closed we're breathing in on the inhale all the way down to here the base of the spine okay and then as we exhale we switch nostrils same hand and we breathe out the right nostril the alternate side here okay so that's the first one and we do this three times we breathe in Visualize the breath in, into the head and down to the base of the spine. Switch for the exhale. And uh, as we exhale, the breath comes back up the other side and out that nostril. Okay. And I'll guide you through this practice. It's a wonderful sort of clearing uh, practice. So we do that three times with each side. Then we take the other hand, the in this case, my left hand and thumb at the ring finger, close off the left nostril this time. And we do it again in the opposite way. So it's similar to Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing in yoga, but it's slightly different. This will involve breathing in through the right, down as you inhale to the base, close off the opposite and breathe up, breathe out through the left and out through the nostril. Yeah. And then we alternate doing it again, same way. And we do that three times. And then on the final one, we breathe in through both nostrils, up into the head, down through the side channels on the inhale. And then on the exhale, you can see this cord, what's called a core channel in the middle. The breath on the exhale travels up, breathing out, and then out through the crown. Yeah. So both nostrils. Now, each of these has a, um, a quality. 
right, in, in the traditional practice, uh, as you begin the first closing off the right nostril, breathing in through the left, here what we are doing is we are breathing in, yeah, breathing in a sense of lightness. And then as we switch and exhale, we are visualizing ourselves relinquishing aversions, fears, anxieties, resentments, uh, anger, frustration, those kinds of things. And we visualize that, exhaling that in the form of a smoky, gray, sooty quality uh, into sort of a sense of clear, clear white light. So as we breathe in, we're breathing that in. We're breathing in uh, lightness. Yep. Yeah. Switch, breathing out, imagining this to be like sooty, smoky quality, letting go of negativity, anger, resentment, anxiety, all of those things. So that's the first one. And like, as I said, I will guide you through this. Then as we do the, the opposite, we close off the left nostril and we breathe in through that channel to the base. Other side, we are here, we are breathing out, clinging grasping, control, addiction, habit, scarcity, interestingly, um, neediness or desires that are plaguing us for whatever reason. And that we're breathing that out in the form of a dark red or burgundy kind of smoky soot yeah? into clear red light. So again, breathing it in. We switch, breathing out this sooty quality of attachment, of clinging and, and desire and those things. <clears throat> and then finally, we, we, and we do that three times. And then finally, we breathe in through both nostrils down to the base of the spine. And as we exhale, we're breathing out on this third round, dullness, uh, blame, confusion, avoidance, <clears throat> apathy blind pride yeah this is in the text this is like blind pride and this we breathe out as we exhale this in the form of navy colored dark sooty quality into a bright blue sky so we're relinquishing uh this up into a bright blue sky so each one of these basically what we're doing is working with the three poisons in buddhism um, hatred greed and delusion so if you've heard of the three poisons before, you know, there's this aspect of greed or, or clinging and attachment or rejection, negativity, aversion, ill will, those kinds of things. So we're sort of clearing the three poisons and then confusion or delusion or ignorance. Yeah. Now, one other thing you can also do is bring uh, Ujjayi breathing into this. Ujjayi is... Uh, sort of the breath where you make a sound almost like oh, fogging glasses, only your mouth is closed. You can kind of hear it as you breathe in through the nose and open the back of the throat, breathing in. And then breathing out, same thing. This actually builds heat in the body and it actually helps with the letting go.